you know, with all the headlines coming out of Washington, there was a story that I think many of you might have missed here, and it came out of Baghdad. Secretary of State John Kerry, he was in Iraq on this Monday, and he was asking for Baghdad's help to stop the flow of arms from Iran to the government of Syria. It continues, as we know, to attack their own people there. And the reply from Iraqi leaders, no. Um, and it made me ask a few constellation questions about Iraq. For example, we've spent um, at least uh, $800 billion, I think the number in excess of a trillion when you add everything in together. Plus, as we know, we're sending in another $2 billion this year to help Iraqis rebuild, bringing our total there um, to you know, more than $8 billion since 06. Now, I guess my question, Congressman, is with all the things that we did wrong, um, my God, when we get to the point where we have to ask the Iraqis if they will help us uh, to stem the flow of arms to Syria, um, as we're writing a check to them and they say no, shame on them or shame on us? Shame on them and shame on us for not understanding why. Um, the Iraqis are still weak, they're still divided, and they've got a troubled country next to them, Iran. They still got to deal with Iran. So, you know, if they're trying to buy some brownie points in the process, um, but the answer, you know, we clearly made a mistake going into war, and I voted to go in, but a bigger mistake is how we fought the war, uh, the enemies we made um, in the process. Uh, it could have turned out so different had we protected their antiquities, had we been sensitive to the fact that you can't dissolve the Ba'athist party uh, participants who were school teachers and yep. so on. When we told the generals if they, if they didn't fight us, they would still have a place in the government. They didn't fight us and then they were kicked out. So, you know, shame on us for a lot of things. You know, Andrew, one of the things is, it's interesting, we saw it on the campaign trail, we even saw it, I mentioned CPAC, some of the most traditional hawks right now. One of the consequences of Iraq is people just aren't as willing um, to play international cop anymore uh, as it relates with U.S. interests. Uh, we're seeing this across the political spectrum. There, there's far more reluctance for support uh, if we're going to put our soldiers in, into harm's way. And, and imagine what happens the next time a legitimate threat pops up. All the questions we'll be asking about, is it legitimate? Because the last time it wasn't. Well, it's arguably, a there's a more legitimate threat now than there ever was with respect to Iraq. I mean, I think what's going on in Iran and Syria are very, very real uh, geopolitical threats globally to us and our allies. And, and we have Vietnam and now Iraq syndrome. And uh, these are real issues. We uh, take a final break here. We'll be right back.